A man reaching for a gun is shot dead by police. People driving home from work coming across the deadly police encounter, capturing the drama on their cell phones from at least three different angles. Thank you for joining us tonight. All of that played out just 24 hours ago, and tonight police call it justified. It happened near Cincinnati's border with Cheviot, and that's where Nine on Your Side's Tom McKee is live now with new information. Tom? Well, th three Cincinnati police officers were standing right here 24 hours ago, and they fired three, sh fired nine shots at Paul Gaston. They claimed that he failed to ignore their orders and tried to pull a gun from his waistband. Now, people coming home here on Harrison Avenue were caught, stopped in their tracks by the encounter, and many pushed record on their cell phone cameras. Wednesday afternoon, 5 o'clock, incredible cell phone images from a stunned citizen witnessing specialist Scott McManus, Office Zachary Sterbling, and Officer Eric Kohler confront Paul Gaston on Harrison Avenue. Based on what we've been able to determine, uh, determine our officers responded to their uh, appropriately and according to their training. Police say it began with this 911 call from Gaston's girlfriend claiming he was acting oddly. There's a man out there waving a gun and his key is there. Minutes later, a security camera captures Gaston crashing his truck into a utility pole at Harrison and Boudinot Avenues. Gaston staggers up Harrison towards Cheviot and he's armed. The car um, stumbled out and dropped the gun. Um, Gaston was then um, shot in the head and took off. Police confront Gaston just inside Cheviot, and the driver holding this phone hears officers order him to his knees, then to lie flat on the ground. But that didn't happen. As he initially starts to go to the ground, he raises up with his right hand, reaches to his waistband. You can see the reaction of the officers. They fire multiple rounds, striking the individual. One person caught in the middle pulled out a cell phone and recorded what they saw. Another individual captured the intensity of the situation from another vantage point. A third person got this view just before the three officers fired nine shots at Gaston. We have the, weapon recovered. He's down. the weapon turned out to be an airsoft pellet gun. Now, of course, all three officers right now are on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of a full investigation into exactly what happened here on Harrison Avenue. Tom McKean, Nine on Your Side, live in Cheviot. Tom, thank you. Nine on Your Side dug into Gaston's past. We've learned that he does have a history of domestic violence. The Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office says he threatened to shoot his ex and her children. We're told he had to be taken out of his vehicle at gunpoint. Now, this happened in October.